What we have here, as you can see, is a floor finish bucket that has been used for a number of years. One is that you can tell there's finish here. You can tell that there's finish all over the apparatus. There's finish that's been hanging here. You can see all this dirt here. If you're laying floor finish on floor and this is the results of your cleaning tools to lay your finish, you can see the finish that's stuck to the bucket here. It's flaking off, as you can see. This is what's getting into your floor finish that you've been laying. So what we showed you to start with was the finished bucket with all of its dirt and the flaking floor finish. Normally what you would have had is you would have had floor finish sitting in the bucket after several hours of work. And that finish that would have been left in this bucket would have been uh, gray, not white. And if you're really truthful with yourself, most of us would have poured that gray floor finish with the little floaty pieces of dirt and old floor finish from the bucket, we would have thrown it right down the drain. So out of a five gallon pail of laying floor finish, it is not uncommon to see at least a half a gallon of bad floor finish go down the drain. While it didn't go on the floor, it still got consumed. So you're losing about 1,000 to 2,000 square feet of floor coverage for every five gallon pail when you use a mop bucket. Now the way we just showed you, you would gain that amount of coverage back. So what does that mean for you in cleanup? Well, now we don't have the bottom of that ringer. So we'll look at the first system that we used. Simply you take the trash can liner off. Where does that go? In the trash. Now what we can do is we can simply take our hose and plain water and we can wash off our applicator. And as you can see, we have more finish running off of it. Now that we've rinsed off the applicator, I can simply take it off. That tool is all washed off. There's nothing else on it. I don't have a mop handle with finish on it. So now I have a pad. I can simply take this pad, and you can actually see the white floor finish actually washing right out of it. I'll go over this one more time. Now what I can actually do is I can actually just take this and fold this, bring it out. Now if in fact all I was going to do was rinse this out and then use it again the next day, I could simply take a new trash can liner. I could put this into a new trash can liner and reuse it the next day. You could do this every day for several days. If in fact I was going to actually save this and use this again next year or say next month, I could actually take and rinse this out a few more times. These are launderable, but you don't need to. If you simply rinse this until there's no white coming out of it, it's good to go. The second system, we would do something similar to that, but you notice that we had already disconnected the head from the handle. So in this case here, I can simply take this whole thing, I can take it and I can wash the whole applicator, take my pad off, to wash the bottom of it. I've got the applicator head right here. I can wash this all off. You want to do this before the finish dries on it. Just like we did on the other one, we can take this and rinse this out. But we're really going to do just exactly the same thing. We have our water. We can simply add it to the bag. At this point, I'm simply going to put cold water in it. And I am going to try to fill the bag fairly full.
Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to hook it up just like we had before. And then we'll hold our trigger right here and simply let our white finish run out. You can see we're starting to get some air bubbles here. But you also notice that my, my liquid here never turned clear. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some more water into my bag. And we're going to continue until this hose turns clear. One of the tricks, and please, please understand what I'm saying here. Do not run all the liquid out. When I disconnect that, do not hit the button and run all the liquid out of the hose. I want that liquid to stay in the hose. Here's what you do not do. Do not disconnect this and then run the little excess. Well, not much came out at that time. But don't, you see the drips coming out of there? Don't do that. You want water to be running there and disconnect this and do not punch that button again. We want that water to stay in here. Now, we have two options. If in fact you take whatever little water is left in the bag and you drain it, then this hose can get dry. You don't want to do that. What you want is you want this hose to have water in it just as well as this hose has water in it. Whenever you get ready to lay floor finish the next time, what do you simply do? You simply connect the two together, run the finish out, and then you put your finish in there and start to apply. What I've just shown you is two different ways of laying finish, two different ways of cleaning up, and when we get through, we don't have this nice, ugly bucket and ringer.